Decades ago, Booker T. Washington and others took action to prove their beliefs that an education could help children growing up in poverty achieve a future of success. 12 News HD anchor Mary Sturgill found one Southeast Texas man who six years ago left corporate America in California to return home to his roots in Jasper. He's now on a mission to preserve that part of history and educate and inspire a generation to discover their own rural roots. Down roads like these lies the history of Texas, and Herman Wright Jr. is trying to ensure future generations know about those who traveled before them. To be able to tell people the story of how these people became who they were despite incredible odds stacked against them. I've always been entranced by the stories that come from centuries back and I want kids growing up to understand that there's more to their life than what's on iTunes or what's on YouTube or what's what's on Facebook or what's on Twitter. But Herman's curiosity actually began when he was only 10 years old when he walked past the Walnut Hill Schoolhouse which is where his father attended as a child. Full of questions, Herman ran to quiz his grandmother on the topic. And I came back and I asked her, well, what is that? And she said, that's where your dad went to school. And I thought about my dad, who I idolized. And I said, he went to school there in the middle of the woods? She went, yeah. And he became what he became? And she said, yes. Herman credits that early education for helping to mold his father into the man he would become, a decorated lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army. And that would not have been possible without the building. So Herman set out on a treasure hunt to find out everything he could about his family, the schools, and the history of his ancestors. He found that in the 1920s, Booker T. Washington joined with Julius Rosenwald, who was the head of the Sears and Roebuck Company, and with parents to build schools for children to attend in the South, in what would come to be called the Rosenwald School initiative. They began a partnership that resulted over the next 15 years in building 5,000 schools. Five of those are in Jasper County. In 2006, Herman set out on a quest to preserve that forgotten history and he started the Long Black Line, a nonprofit that works to promote education through preserving the historical schoolhouses. And for people like Arlene Southwell, who was in one of the last classes to attend the Rock Hill School before it closed, Giving these buildings a voice is very important and very personal. Well, when you remember that, you remember where, where your footprints came from. And to me, it, it, it gives me just, well, it just gives me a pleasure to know that that little building is still standing. And I said, well, that's where I first got my start, you know. It's just, I don't know, it's just something close to my heart, you know. It's a part of my history. The other purpose of the Long Black Line is to educate people about their rich history, developing curriculum for teachers. That's why the name is so symbolic. And I have this picture of the brigade at Prairie View in the early 50s in which they were marching, and I thought, that's the Long Black Line. And even though Herman's father has passed, through the organization's education component, that line of history that he's a part of will live on because people will learn what Herman Wright Jr. has come to know. I stand on the shoulders of generations of people. It's not just my parents or my grandparents that I am the sum total of decades and decades and centuries of history. That was 12 News HD's Mary Sturgill with that report. Many of those schoolhouses that are still standing are currently used as churches or community centers. And if you'd like to know more about the work of Herman Wright Jr. doing with the long black line, the website, you can visit our website at 12newsnow.com and find the link to their webpage with this story.